What's going on YouTube? My name is NC Squared and uh but let's uh before I get started into this video, I just want you guys that you know this is a huge, huge, huge spoiler um like kind of video. So if you didn't see the thumbnail, it's definitely a huge spoiler. If you saw the title, I completely understand. If you don't want to watch this video, I completely understand, but uh, in this video, it's going to be a very spoiler video. Um, we are going to be uh, going over all the Pokemon on all the islands. Um, I believe this was Datamine, and um, the dude's Twitter I found this on is going to be in the description. And um, I actually found this video off Sacred. Um, he, uh, I kind of wanted to do a video on it too because you know I actually I don't know why, but I just love leaks and just finding out things right away is like something that gets to me. I'm like, oh shoot, I got to find this out now. Like. When the demo got data mine, I was in shambles. I needed to find everything on this game. So we are actually going to go over each and every island in um, in the Alola region. Uh, first off, uh, we're going to start with Island 1, which I believe is called Me Mele Mele Island. Um, and Mele Mele Island, um, as you can see, in um, again, in about 5 seconds, I'm about to reveal a huge spoiler. So if you want to click out the video now, totally understand. Uh, just... Um, I completely understand if you want to do only watch the video, but here we go on the first island um, Obviously You can see that we have the starters um, We have Rowlet um, and its evolutions. We have Litten in its evolutions uh, And we have Populo in, in its evolutions and then uh, I believe this um, order goes in by um, uh, Excuse me for one second All right, sorry about that um we, uh, we see that it goes in order from like bug type all the way down to like dragon type and fairy typing. So uh, we see Cutifly and its evolution, which we haven't actually uh, seen its, uh, the, actually don't know the name of its evolution just yet. We see um, s um, the uh, the bug Pokemon, it's its Scatterbug, no it's not Scatterbug, um, Charger Bug is its second evolution, uh, Grubbin. We see Grubbin's evolution line with Vikavolt. Uh, Vikavolt looks like a monster, let me tell you. And then next we got Spinarak and Ariados, which we kind of expected because uh, in one of the uh, trailers we saw um, the uh, Team Skull leader um, Guzma uh, having an Ariados, so that was actually uh, not not something that I would expect to see. Uh, like I kind of expected to see on the first island, but I didn't expect it uh, this early on in the game. Um, and then we have Caterpie in that evolution line. Fortunately, we don't have any Beedrills in here. Um, just you know just keep it even um and then we have La uh, ladyba and ledian uh we got the um okorio i believe its name is okorio is the is this the, this is the first of the um what's it called um the four birds that kind of symbolize and represent with the uh totem guardians um as you can see in the bottom right of the pokemon um it kind of corresponds with that it's an electric typing uh, and next we got pika peck and its evolutions um and so far, there's a there's a total of 120 Pokemon, of course, uh, 90 pre generations or 95 pre generations. So um, that's including evolutions. And then we got 16 6th gen, seventh gen Pokemon, and along with nine alone forms. Um, and then to uh, continue on, we got Spearow and Firo, we got Delibird, uh, we got Wingle and Pelipper, we got Rufflet in its evolution, we got uh, Volibee in its evolution, uh, we got Young Goose and um, gum shoes now that's uh that's pretty cool because we're able to get this pokemon pretty early as well kind of figure because it's kind of like the zigzagoon and puchiana and like any other first uh pokemon that we get in the games sorry i'm running out of breath for some reason and then we got um our first um uh, views on a lolan pokemon we got a lolan rattata and radicate and a lolan meowth and persian now what i think is gonna happen is gonna what's gonna happen is um in the uh, i remember in oras that um, it, how it introduced us to Index Snap is that it kind of like did its own like little simulation like oh hey um, Now that you're in um, Now that you're starting your journey There's this thing called a Dex Snap and it has you perform a simulation of the Dex Snap and then has you move on with the game What I think is gonna happen is that there's gonna be a little cutscene uh, with um, Professor Oaks, I believe it's a uh, cousin or brother or something like that where he teaches you um, Oh hey um, Here's this new thing called a Lolan Pokemon, and it's either going to show you a Rattata, maybe if you're in Moon version, or uh, the the Meowth if you're in Sun version. Whatever it is, it's going to show you that little cutscene of what this Pokemon is, and then maybe later you'll be able to catch in the wild. Uh, next up, we got Smeargle, which means for competitive, Smeargle is in fact back, um, which is kind of unfortunate because Smeargle was kind of like. 
kind of a butthole in VGC, but I don't know. Uh, we're going to see how that flies out. Uh, next, we got Happiny um, and its uh, evolution line. We got Spinna as well, which is kind of weird because you see a Spinna and a Smear going, and you're like, why would you find it on the same island? But you never know. Um, there could be other sections in the map we have to go back to, and there'd be separate different, uh, I guess, separate sections for separate Pokemon. Uh, we got Munchlax and Snorlax, which technically Munchlax is in this game because of the Z move it gets. Um, I can see why that they, they would have its evolution line here. Um, and next up, we got Petalil and its evolution, and then Cottony and its evolution. We got the uh, Alolan Raichu, of course, and then we got Pikachu and Pichu. Um, next up, we got Magnemite and its evolution line. We got Zubat and its gold, um, and its uh, evolution line, which we kind of figured because you it, you can't have a gear without Zubat. It's like I don't think there's a generation where we haven't had a Zub uh, um, a Zubat like in the decks or a Pikachu in the decks. Like it's always a Pokemon that's gonna be in the decks. Um, next up, we have a Grimmer and Muck, the Alolan forms, of course. Um, honestly, not a big fan of Grimer, but Muck. Being able to change colors during battle is actually very dope. I actually enjoy that quite a bit. And then uh, we got Alolan Growlithe and Arcanine. We got Abra, Kadabra, and Alkazam, of course. Um, this kind of confirms that the, uh, the I guess, theory that they were become Alolan forms is kind of like nullified. Like, this is no, there's no more um, Alolan forms for these two evolutions. And then next up, we got Drowsy and Hypno. Um, I guess they're, I guess that's a good pairing. Um, being able to have that psychic type, like, like this, I believe this is the first psychic type, like, other than Abra, of course, this is the first psychic type we've had. Um, and then we, next up we got Drifloon and Drifloom. Uh, we got Sableye, we got Mischievous and Miss Magius. We got the Ghastly Align, of course. And then we got Wishy Washy, which, honestly, I am scooping up a Wishy Washy. There's no doubting, I'm scooping one up. I'm telling you guys, I'm scooping one up. Um, we got a Tentacool and Tentacruel. We got Slowpoke and two evolutions it's got because, you know, obviously we can evolve and stuff like that. Obviously, we're not going to be able to catch each and every last evolution on the, um, on the uh, island. It's just that, oh, I can catch a Magnemite. That means I can evolve it through this entire thing. Um, and next up, we got, where am I on? We got Psyduck and Golduck, which actually I'm pretty excited about. Golduck's actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, we got Luminion, or Finion and Luminion, or however you say its name. Uh, and then we got um, some new Pokemon here, a new 7th gen. We actually haven't found these, actually, well, I, I've found these. We haven't actually released these Pokemon yet from the Pokemon Company. Um, I say we, but I mean the Pokemon Company hasn't released them, not, and I don't work with the Pokemon Company. Um, and it's this Pokemon was actually found on one of the TCG boxes that it gets um, and, and it, this is also one of the Pokemon that was data mined, so we actually kind of know about this Pokemon. So, in the next set we got Barbosh and Wish, um, Wish Cash. I don't know why I messed up that name. Uh, and then next up we got Love Disc, which, uh, I mean, it's, it's a Love Disc. It's, it's whatever. Um, next up we got Corsola. Um, Corsola is actually kind of new. I wouldn't expect Corsola to be in, in the Alolan decks. And then we got Shelter and Cloyster, Magikarp and Gyarados, of course. Uh, we got Crab Brawler and its evolution, which we actually haven't, that one hasn't actually been released yet. I'm tripping over my words and it's very terrible. Uh, next up we got Mankey and uh, Primate, we got Makuita and Hariyama, we got Machop and its line, we got Bonsly and Shudowoodo, which I kind of think Shudowoodo is going to be another one of those Pokemon where you have to cut and it's just going to attack you and the only reason it's there is because it's Bonsly. Or we're going to get the egg, and I believe you really either get the egg for Bonsly or we get the egg for Happini. And then next up we got Rockruff and its evolutions, which actually look pretty dope. Uh, and then next up we got Alolan Diglett and Dugtrio. And then we got Carbink. And then we got um, Rog and Rollo in its evolution line. We got Bagon in its evolution line. And then we got the Total Pokemon, of course. Um, I, it's a, it's, I don't think it's a Total Pokemon. It's, it's a Total Pokemon. It's a Total Pokemon. Um, I'm kind of iffy on where to find Bagon. I feel like Bagon's one of those Pokemon you find later, late, like late, later in the game. Like you had to come back to the island at one point because you don't have, um, let's say, like uh, the Tauros or I guess Surf, or you don't have the the Fly ability just yet or something like that. So, I mean, we don't know. We just we just we just don't know yet. All right. <sighs> Sorry, gotta take deep breaths. Deep breaths. Uh, next up, we got Island number two. Um, shoot. Uh, let me. Let me move on to the next island. Uh, next island, number number two, um, we got 
We got some new Pokemon on here. Uh, we got a total of 58 pre-gen Pokemon, 46 repeats, which the repeats are obviously not on the screen. Uh, we got 25 7th gen and 1 alone Pokemon, with a total of 130 on this island. Now, it seems to be that each, at, at, from looking at it, it seems like each poke, each uh, island is going to have its own pseudo. Which actually I'm not that um, upset about, which actually can bring some diversity to each island. Like, oh hey, if I want to go to this island, I want to go find this Pokemon. If I want to go to this island, I find this Pokemon. Um, oh, I mean, I guess I want to go to this island and find this pseudo, so that's what I meant to say. Um, whew, I, am a, I am short of breath. Uh, all right, so we got Igglybuff, Jigglypuff, and Wigglytuff in its line. Uh, we got Tauros, which I'm... Oh, Tauros is a monster. Uh, we got Lillipup. Oh, yes, I love Lillipup, honestly. Um, and that evolution line. Uh, we got Miltank. We got Kangaskhan. We got the... Ah, uh, I totally forgot this name. But it's the... It's the I guess it's one of the two monkey Pokemon that was released in the trailers. Uh, obviously, you can see the other one next to it, next to uh, Bubear. And that evolution line. Uh, we got um, Wimpod and its evolution, which looks hella dope, by the way. And then the next two Pokemon, which haven't been released, seems to be getting on Island Two. Um, it looks to be like it could be a water, like a like a like a seat, like one of those bugs that like can walk on water. I would assume, like it could be water a bug, bug electric or water electric. It looks like it'd be that kind of line. Um, and then next up, we got Pinsir, we got Surskit and Masquerade, Paris and Parasect. We got um. Ah, uh, is it Comfey? Comfey? No, it's not Comfey. Is it? I don't know. But it's the uh, the Lay Pokemon. Um, and then we got, which I'm pretty sure the first evolution was released, but I don't think the second was released just yet. I forgot the first one's evolution, but uh, I think it's like a Poison Grass type again, um, or a Fairy Grass. Um, and next up, we got Bun Sweet in its evolution line. We got again this Pokemon. I, keep, I can't forget this Pokemon, but. Uh, I can't remember this thing, but it's that evolution line, of course. We've actually seen pictures of it in um, the trailers and gameplay of it. And then we got Phantump and Trevenant. And we got Orcorio, this the Psychic-type Pokemon. Um, the Psychic-type version, I should say. And then we got um, Fletchling in its line. We got Magby in its line. Oh my god, Magby's in this game? I'm hyped. That's hype. And I, I mean, we, we kind of already knew it was in the game, but on Island 2, that's actually pretty close. Um... We got Cubone and Marowak, which is, ooh, that's pretty dope. We get to have uh, Marowak early. Uh, we got Sandal in its evolution, which I'm pretty sure um, the dude's Twitter that I'm getting this off of, I think his name's Philly. Um, they have the name of this evolution, which I kind of don't want to release it yet because that's actually more and more spoilers. Um, it's like it, it, again, it starts with an S. Uh, we got Starmie and Staryu. Uh, we got Golden and Sea King. We got that cucumber looking Pokemon that, uh, like, its shiny form looks like Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Um, we got um, uh, Poliwag in its evolution line. Obviously, we get to see both Poly, uh, Poly, Poly Swirls, um, Poly Toad, and um, Poly Wrath. Uh, we got Alamola, which I mean, kind of sucks because you know Regenerator and everything. We got um, Chinchow and Lantern. We got Feebas and Milotic, which I love Milotic because if you didn't watch MPL season two at all the way through you know my loader was the absolute mvp of that season we got eevee in its evolution line seems to, to be that we can get each and every evolution which is pretty great not sectioning off to each one obviously with the stones we can get the the first three um night and day we can get the second two but being able to um evolve into the next three is actually be a very big deal um we're, we're gonna have to find certain places to find to find the stones or like the, the rock to find to evolve um Leafeon and Glaceon. Next up we got Cast Form and its transformations, which honestly Cast Form, you know, that's pretty good at, at transformations. Like it, it was like at the first sign of a Lolan Pokemon. That's actually pretty cool that they kinda in third gen they put like, oh hey, due to weather, it can change. <laughs> I mean we I kinda already saw that with Shuruby as well, but um we got Mudsdale in its evolution line. We got the Sandcastle Pokemon in its evolution line, which I can't remember its name, but yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, we got Nose Pass and Probass. We got ooh, we got some fossil Pokemon. So these these four Pokemon are the fossil Pokemon that we can get in the game. Uh, we um, unfortunately haven't seen new fossil Pokemon yet, which kind of sucks because 
I'm pretty sure the only generation that didn't have a fossil Pokemon, like a new fossil Pokemon, was Generation 2. But that was only because it was a connection to two. It was like connection to Kanto as well. So Kabutops and Omnimite were obviously um, interchangeable. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this island. We get to see um, Tortuga Evolution Line, Archaeops and its Evolution Line, Bastion and its Evolution Line, Rampardos and its Evolution Line. We get to see um, Gudra, the uh, pseudo of this island, and the this total Pokemon. Uh, I'm pretty sure the last one was Taboo Coco, and I don't remember this one. It was released in the trailer. Um, let's move on to the next island. Uh, next island is going to be the third island, which is going to have a total of 130 Pokemon. It's going to have 77 repeats, 38 pregens, um, 8 7th gen, and 7 Alolan Pokemon, which 7 different Alolan Pokemon, that's going to be a lot. This is also the island with the ice cap in it, so we're going to see some more ice type Pokemon in this, um, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, we see Komala here, and with no evolution. And if that doesn't break your heart, I don't know what will. Uh, we got Kumala. Honestly, Kumala's got to have like some something to it, cause it can't just be that little baby thing. It's got to have stupid high stats or something like that. Um, we got Porygon in its evolution line. We got Ditto, which come on, what's a game without Ditto and breeding? Uh, we got Cleffa and Clefairy, which is unfortunate, uh, cause you know screw Clefairy. Um, we got Clefki. We got Mimikyu. Uh, we got, uh, honestly, getting MBQ late in this game is gonna hurt a lot of people and their feelings, but, oh well. Uh, we got that weird fish-looking Pokemon that can, like, stop, like, first turn moves, like, priority moves, like, quick attack and stuff like that, or sucker punch or something like that. Um, we got, you know, the, the Oricorio of this island, which is, I believe, uh, Fire-type? I could be wrong. It could be Grass. It could be wrong. It looks like Fire-type. It honestly looks like Fire-type. Um... And then we got Minior, the Meteor Pokemon. We got uh, Alolan Geodude in its evolution line. We got Elekid. Oh, yes. Oh. Ooh. We got Elekid in its evolution line. We got Trubbish and Garbodor. We got Alolan Sandshrew and Alolan Sandslash. We got Alolan Vul Vulpix and Alolan um, Ninetales. We got... Oh, Poison's going to be happy about that. We got uh, Vanilla in its evolution line. Uh, we got uh, Snowrun in its evolution line, which is actually pretty dope. Uh, we got Sneasel in that evolution line. We got, oh, I forgot that Pokemon's name. It's like the 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 rendition of Pikachu, but we already have Mimikyu. And I totally forgot that was a Pokemon. <laughs> Not gonna lie, totally forgot that was a Pokemon. We got Skarmory. We got the evolution. We got Beldum, which is technically the suit, uh, the second, the third pseudo we've been seeing. Uh, we got um, we got Absol. We got Pancham. Um, we got Sandile. Which is actually pretty dope, which means Crookedile is in this game as well. Go Crook. Uh, we got Torkoal. We got um, the, the Torkinator, I think this name is Torkinator. Um, we got Drumpa, which I forgot Drumpa was alive. Uh, we got Flygon, which is pretty dope. It seems that to be that we got like two dragon types. We can, A possibility of getting two dragon types in this island. Um, and yeah, we got the, 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 the new uh, Tapu guy guy. Uh, Tapu Bulu, I believe his name is, because he represents a boar, and that's the only reason why I remember his name. Um, and yeah, that's it for this island. Uh, we're going to go on to the next island. I mean, that's pretty cool that Garchomp is on this island, Island 3. Um, obviously, we're going to be able to get him later game, probably, because we probably don't have the, the the Pokemon Assister or whatever, the certain one that we need. Honestly, the last one we probably are going to get is probably... Like, I don't know, like, what kind of, like, other than, like, I'm gonna get Surf, uh, Rock Smash, and, like, other, like, like, Pokemon Assist, like, what, like, how are we gonna be able to access these Pokemon, like, I'm pretty sure there was, like, there's, like, gotta be at least seven of these Pokemon, without a doubt, um, so, seven of these Assist Pokemon, without a doubt, so, let's go on to the next one, we got Island number four, the fast and final island, there's not a lot of Pokemon on this island, but, you know, if he gets the job done, we got 72 repeats, we got 22 pregens, we got 5 7th gen, and 1 alone. Uh, we got Oricorio, of course, we got um, the psychic type, of course. Uh, and then we got, um, I guess, uh, Murkrow, I almost forgot his name, and Honchkrow. We got Embolga, which is kind of different. I mean, I would say it's different. I mean, i never really seen Embolga outside of 5th gen, and maybe 6th gen. Um, I mean, obviously, since it started in 5th gen, but... Um, you never really see an Amolga, like you never go out of your way to catch an Amolga, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, we got Snubble, 
Thank God, because I love stubble. Uh, we got Riolu and Lucario, which... I mean, like... Uh, like uh, I mean... How are you going to be able to find it? Is it going to be a wild, or are you going to get out of an egg, or what's going to happen there? Uh, we got Scyther and Scissor. We got Shellos and their whole shebang of family. Blue. Pink and, pink and, pink and blue. Um, I was going to say green because, you know, the blue one, or the, the west one, I think it is? I believe the west side, or something like that. It's blue, and then the east side is like pink or something like that. And then we got Sharpedo and Carvana. Uh, we got um, Relicant. Uh, we got some weird looking Pokemon that looks... I don't know what it looks like. Uh, we got Lapras. Uh, we got Whelmer and Whale Lord. Uh, we got um, Aerodactyl. Almost forgot his name. But Pterodactyl, Aerodactyl. Uh, we got Execute and uh, Alolan Executor. We got the Pseudo, of course, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragon Knight. And then this, the new Pseudo, uh, we got um, uh, uh, Koma Omo, or Koma Omo, or something like that. And then the, 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 uh, the Totem Pokemon, of course. And that um, seems to be for the four main islands. We obviously haven't seen that fifth middle island. Uh, we don't know about that one yet. We don't know if there's any Pokemon on that island or if that's just a Ultra Beast Island or whatever. Um, because so far the eighth, that looks like the eighth or foundation base. Um, so that's all four islands, guys. That's crazy. Like, goodness. Like, that's a lot of Pokemon. Like, that's like at over 100 Pokemon in each island. And like, that's crazy like each island should take about like four hours to grind out like it should that's how it should be but i know it's not going to be that long for each one it's probably going to be about one maybe like oh 20 minutes oh uh, yeah we go here for 20 minutes but hopefully like we go to one island beat that trial captain and i'm, I'm hoping there's like two trial captains each one but i hope that there's like um like maybe a trial captain on the, the first trial captain you beat is on the first island the second one might be on the second island third one's on the third fourth one's on the fourth and then the fifth one could be on like the second island the the, 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 the sixth one could be like on the first island the se seventh could be on the, the fourth and like maybe the eighth one's on the last one the, the third island over there but you know we can never like we can only hope and dream but um you know that's the end of this video um i want to say thank you guys for watching uh, if you endured through these hyper or like these um, these uh, these hyper active um, spoilers, uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, these are all the Pokemon that are all on the islands. Um, obviously, these might also not be real at the same time. I getting them off like a guy from Twitter. I believe his name is Philly. I've already said this in the video before. Um, shout out to him for all the leaks. Um, there's also a guy spoiling everything. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I won't ever spoil any, uh, story related things. I am trying to stay away from that. Um, but, um, I, anything like a huge major Pokemon related, like, oh, hey, there's a Komala, um, is getting an evolution. Uh, yeah, that stuff. But yeah, that's, this is so far. I keep doing it all the time, but, um, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.